this TV is kind of growing on me. The 86-inch QNED 85U is a solid mid-tier TV from the LG lineup, and it is a 4K smart TV, but what makes it so special? Hey guys, how's it going? Justin here from Waltz, and today we're taking a deeper dive into the 86-inch version of the QNED 85U. Now, there is a lot to cover in this video, so we're going to break it into four parts picture quality, features and design, audio, and of course my personal thoughts. So without further ado, let's jump right into the picture quality. Now the QNED 85U is gonna come with a native resolution of 4K, which is 3840 by 2160. It's an LCD based TV with mini LED. And what mini LED is gonna allow for is more controlled lighting zones, smaller LEDs, just getting that brightness and contrast up to better levels. Now when it comes to viewing angles, it's about average and what you'd expect from a TV in this price point. But I will say if you know, you're looking at the TV direct on, this looks a lot better than what you would expect. The 85U does have HDR10 Pro and Dolby Vision, which not every TV comes with, so it's awesome to see that in this set. Also, when I was streaming YouTube, I did notice the HDR tag pop up in the top right corner, knowing that I was viewing HDR content, and man, did it look good. It's also going to come with the Alpha 7 Gen 6 AI processor, which is going to be huge for things like artificial intelligence upscaling. And if you're not familiar with 4K upscaling, essentially what this is going to do is take a smaller image that doesn't have as many pixels, stretch it up to a larger image, so this would be like like 1080p to 4K, and then fill in all that missing information to give a more sharp image. And the AI is artificial intelligence, so it's using that artificial intelligence to better predict what those pixels would have been. It's very important for picture quality when it comes to things like sharpness and color. But the processing power isn't just important for the picture quality, which is why it's gonna lead us into our next part. So what else does the processing power help with with a TV like this? Well, it does come down to the operating system. The operating system is gonna run all of your smart apps, typing in your password, switching inputs, general use of your TV. And on the QNEDs, you're gonna get that WebOS 23, which by the way, I really love WebOS. LG WebOS has been probably my favorite for a long time just because of how smooth it is. And especially on this TV, because it is a mid-tier and it's not an OLED, I was expecting for it to be a little bit slower than normal, but it really shocked me when I found that, you know, going through the apps was very, very smooth, very fast, very responsive. And I think that was really surprising to see considering I've seen it degrade in other sets. Also, you're gonna get the LG Magic Remote, which we all love, super easy to pair to your TV. And if you ever have any issues, it's really easy to troubleshoot, which by the way, if you're having LG remote issues, you should go watch our troubleshoot video. That can help you out as well. Also, we can't forget about connections. QNED 85U is going to come with four HDMI ports, two of them being 2.0s and two of them being 2.1s. And of course, you get an ARC port with that as well if you're going to run HDMI ARC. It also comes with some USB ports and an Ethernet port to connect to the Wi Fi. Now, this TV also does have VRR, which is variable refresh rate, and that's going to give you up to 120 hertz. Depending on what content you're running, the TV will automatically select the best for you. 120 hertz, though, is very important for you gamers out there who are using next gen consoles this is definitely going to help you know produce that image that you're supposed to have if gaming is not your thing or maybe it is your thing but you're more concerned about sports it's going to help with motion like things like a hockey puck or football when they travel across the screen it'll be a lot smoother on this tv oh and if you guys are enjoying the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe it really does help me out now i must mention for the 86 inch version if you're looking to put this on your stand the two legs in distance is 59.5 inches which is pretty wide so make sure you have an entertainment center that can hold that. If not, you can mount it on the wall as well. When it is on the stand, it's going to leave about 2.9 inches of you know, height from the bottom of the TV to the bottom of whatever you're setting it on. And this makes for perfect room to add a sound bar, something like the LG SC9, which if you haven't seen our video on that, you should definitely go check it out. A great sound bar that I think would pair great with this TV, but there is still more when it comes to the mounting. So a few things I wanted to touch on, the fact that this TV is 125 pounds, if you're getting the 86 inch version, do not try to install this on your own because you won't. It's just gonna be way too heavy and, you know, I mean, unless you want to break your TV, go ahead. 
but definitely get some help. If you can get it professionally installed, that's obviously the way I'm going to recommend because, you know, put the liability in someone else's hands. But yeah, basically you're going to want to make sure you find at least one stud if you're using a regular wall mount. I'd go with something like a VLT6, something that's going to, you know, hold up that much weight. This is not the type of TV that you want to cheap out with and buy a really cheap Amazon mount with. You want to pair it with something quality and, you know, Sanus is a great brand that I recommend. You can also buy the LG Slim mounts for the indents that you see on the top of the back of the screen. It is going to be difficult to install those on your own. So, you know, if you're willing to take that challenge and that's the look you want for your TV, go ahead. If you're putting it on a regular mount, I would definitely get something quality. Now, with all that being said, let's jump into our next part. Now, this TV does support Dolby Atmos, which it is rare to have a TV that supports Atmos and Dolby Vision, so super awesome there. So if you have a surround system or a surround soundbar already, this will work perfectly. I mean, Justin, do I need a soundbar or surround sound system? And my answer to that is gonna be absolutely you do. And the reason being is that most TV speakers are just not as good as they used to be because TVs have gotten so thin, it's forced the components to be super packed and just facing down usually, just muffling the sound. It just usually doesn't sound good. I will say on this TV, it's not terrible, but if you're doing anything that, you know, might require some sort of bass or, you know, voice distinction, you're definitely going to want that soundbar in there. And honestly, I would say sound is 50% of the experience, if not more. Why do I say that? Well, watch this clip of high quality video with low quality audio and then low quality video with high quality audio. And you tell me which one is more tolerable. So this is an example of amazing video quality with terrible audio quality. Let's switch and see what sounds better. Now our video quality has decreased, but our audio quality has gone through the roof. Major improvements. What do you guys think? So yeah, I mean, personally to me, audio is very important because I know what it's like to have good audio and not good audio and make a huge difference. And it's something you usually don't think about because everything is so focused on buying the best possible TV. So make sure you add that budget in there for a soundbar. Like we said earlier, the SC9 would be a great soundbar for this TV, but there's plenty of them out there to choose from. So with that being said, what are my final thoughts on the QNED 85U? Well, first, I'm really impressed with how accurate the color and the HDR, just the overall picture was really surprising to me. Although the the viewing angles weren't great, the picture definitely made up for it, especially in this price range. I also really like the fact that you can choose whether you mount this through a slim mount or just a regular standard full motion or wall mount. I think it'll look great either way. And remember, have help when you go to install this, if not hire someone to do it for you. And I also really like the fact that they included the Magic Remote, even though this is not a premium set. But I want to know what you guys think about the QNED 85U. Do you already have it? What are your thoughts on it? And is there anything you'd like to share? And if you're looking to pick one of these up, make sure to check the links down in the description. And as always, if you guys enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. If this is a product that you're interested, make sure to email me at YouTube at Waltz so I can get you a special YouTube discount. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos like these, and we'll see you in the next one.